Hey, what's going on everyone? MBG here. Thanks for checking out the video today. I do appreciate it. So I have a very short little article here um, from ICXM.net. <clears throat> uh, basically confirming something here. I'm going to read it to you. It's pretty short. It says, we have some exciting confirmations for you. According to the social manager of Xbox Spain, there are multiple unannounced games which will take advantage of Project Scorpio. Speaking with Generation Xbox, Juan Carlos Gonzalez said, We still do not have information we can share about the Project Scorpio price. What I can say is that there will be several games launching for the game console with the respective benefits of the new hardware. There are projects and titles still unpublicized this year that I am convinced will be a pleasure for many Xbox users and other users who have not taken the leap. We will have to wait a little bit more to share details, but we already know some details, and this year looks very good. So this is interesting. This is an interesting statement. I mean, it's not that interesting to the point where it's like, oh, my God, this is crazy. Like, But it is it is official confirmation, and we've all kind of assumed at this point that obviously there's things we don't know about that you know, are going to be taking advantage of Xbox Scorpio's hardware. And I think he could be referring to one of three things here, or possibly all three things. The first thing is he could be referring to games that are already out right now that people are playing that will get major patches to really take full advantage of Scorpio's hardware. He could be talking about games that we already know about in the form of third-party games, such as, you know, Red Dead Redemption, uh, games like that, that will actually be taking full advantage of Xbox Scorpio. We could also be talking about the first party games we know about as well, such as State of Decay 2 and game, games like that. Or he could actually be referring to games that are unannounced yet in the form of third party and exclusive titles that will be completely utilizing everything Scorpio has to offer. But I actually think he's talking about all three here. I think we already know we can expect to see games get patched, which will be really nice, you know, like maybe games like Battlefield 1 running in a native 4K resolution, 60 FPS, uh, games, I, I don't think we'll see a game like Grand Theft Auto get patched, but, you know, all the first party games like Gears of War 4, Forza Horizon 3, so on and so forth, so I think we already know to expect that, um, and it will actually be very nice to, to hear going forward when it comes to third-party game announcements, because this is going to be really big for uh, Project Scorpio, is when developers actually talk about them utilizing Scorpio's hardware for their games, and they talk about being able to reach a native 4K resolution, being able to uh, you know, make just the graphical fidelity that much better to be able to increase the frame rates. When we hear developers talking about this with their games or letting us know that this is what we can expect with their games, you know, maybe such as a game like uh, Middle Earth Shadow of War, the first, seemingly first official Scorpio announced game, that'll be huge. You know, if we find out that that game is native 4K, 60 FPS, that's going to be a big fucking deal for Scorpio. You know, gamers will care about that. They really will. It won't go unnoticed. And so if we see, if if what he's basically saying here is that he thinks there's a lot of things we're going to, you know, they're going to start talking about that are going to get people excited. That's what I'm expecting. That's what would get me excited anyway is, you know, it's Games I'm looking forward to, like the next Star Wars Battlefront game, you know, is that going to be a native 4K game? Is it going to run at 60 FPS? You know, how, we, the reason why I talk about that game is because the graphical fidelity, you know, the, 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 the textures and everything, the lighting in the, orig in the Star Wars Battlefront that we got in 2015, even playing on the Xbox One looked absolutely phenomenal. I thought the game looked beautiful. And that is a game that definitely is very intense with the graphics. So I'm sitting here wondering, you know, is that a game that we can expect to see take full advantage of Scorpio's hardware? And if so, it's going to look fucking amazing. And this is what I, you know, this is what gets me excited. This is, it's, it's things like that that I care about and that I know many gamers care about. You know, it's not just about the resolution war here. Like, I know a lot of fanboys try to bring it down to that level where, oh, native 4K versus upscaled 4K, it's going to be much more than that. The more I hear Phil Spencer talk about Project Scorpio and the more information, little bit of information that we get here and there, 
it's it, to me it's all pointing to something much greater than just a higher resolution and that is awesome like that is exactly what i want this console to be is i want it to be a machine that really makes a big impact on games in more ways than one you know in, in multiple ways and when we heard phil spencer talking on podcast unlocked i think i've referenced that in every video i've made so far but it's important because we got a lot of critical information from phil spencer himself he really went out of his way at one point in that uh, when talking about scorpio to, to let us know we are going to see a difference like a clear he almost made it seem like it's going to be a night and day difference between games that are running on Scorpio versus everything else on the market. Not talking about PCs, obviously. We're talking about consoles here. And that is that I don't I don't know about everybody else out there, but for me that that that's exciting to hear. As a, not not just as an Xbox fan, but as a gamer. You know, like I want great games. Like there are some games that will be launching this year that I know will be great games that are just fun to play. You know, the developers are proven we know the games will be fun. But to, to see such enhancements brought to the games that I love to play is really going to mean a lot to me. You know, as somebody who's been gaming on an Xbox One for a couple of years now, playing games in 720p, 30fps, you know, 900p, and some games at 1080p, you know, making the idea of making that leap to possibly native 4K 60fps, obviously I don't think we'll see that with every game, but just, just this, this big... Uh, leap. You know, I, I think it will be a big leap. I could be wrong, but I, I don't know. To me, going from 720p, uh, you know, 30 FPS to 4K, 60 FPS, to me, that's, that sounds like a pretty big leap. And I know not every game runs at 720p on the Xbox One, but, you know, there certainly are some that do. And what I'm trying to get at here, it, ultimately, with this video, is just expressing my excitement to to know, you know, to get the official confirmation that, yeah, there's stuff we don't know about, obviously, you know, I've been saying this, I've been saying there's stuff going on with third-party publishers, you know, we, we don't even know, like, we know Phil Spencer just went to Japan to talk to them, you know he probably showed off Scorpio to them, and he showed off all of their plans and let them know exactly what their plans are, and I believe he said in that podcast that, you know, they're eager to get their hands on Scorpio, and like, he could just be saying that, but that's, you know, that would be amazing. You know, like if this console is really that, that great and, and, and sounds that appealing and who knows what he, you know, what he said to the Japanese devs and the way he pitched this thing and the way he pitched the whole Xbox vision. But I'm sure there's a lot of things he told them that he won't tell us because it's stuff that we're going to learn about in the future. That's great. You know, that's really great, and that's real. that gives me a lot of hope, not just for, you know, more Japanese games, but just more games in general. You know, more great games, to, you know, hearing about devs being excited to develop for the hardware, all of this stuff, utilizing the hardware, that's music to my ears, man. Like, that's what I love to hear. That's what I, I, I'm excited for, and, you know, 2017, man, I think is going to be a very, very exciting year for Xbox fans and gamers alike. You know, there's a lot... It's a good time to be a gamer. You know, it really, really is. But as an Xbox fan, I can say that I am eager, man. I am very eager, and I am sitting here anticipating what we are going to learn in the coming months. And I know many other people feel the same way I do right now. But, you know, like I said, this is official confirmation. Um, it may not be the most official. You know, it wasn't from Phil Spencer, the man himself. But it's good to hear. It's good to hear. So I would love to know your thoughts about this in the comments below, guys. What do you guys think about, you know, confirmation that there are things going on that we aren't aware of that are going to take, you know, hearing about games that are going to take full advantage of Scorpio. Is this exciting to you? Is it not exciting to you? Um, you know, does it open up? Does it make you think about what exactly we're going to end up seeing uh, with these games and the type of benefits we're going to end up seeing? Uh, or do you think that maybe they're just... Uh, hyping it up a little too much and the, the benefits we're going to see just really aren't going to be as great as they're making it sound definitely let me know your thoughts in the comments below i'm always interested interested if i could speak to see what you guys have to say if you did go on to enjoy the video a like rating would be greatly appreciated as always and if you are new and haven't already consider subscribing to the channel if you want more xbox and gaming related content just like this but until next time guys take care